Pepsi power. We all need Pepsi power in our lives. Oh yes, we do. Oh yeah. Nothing is better than a cold Pepsi during a warm day. So, uh, did you like the fucking tune? One more tune left and my album will be complete and I will release it into the Spotify realm and I will also release it on Bandcamp and all kinds of fucking shit. Hope you guys support it. We're in kind of a music age where no one supports fucking anything uh, because everything is so easily accessible it's hard to fucking deny that. So, uh, if you guys support it, that's fucking awesome when that time comes. If you just listen to it, I guess that's fine too. But you know, it is what it is. Now let's talk about this fucking masterpiece. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. It was everything I wanted it to be, and even better in some aspects. I was kind of skeptical when this game first announced that it was uh, kind of like an ending to a trilogy. I was like, what the fuck? Aren't the Xenoblade Chronicles standalone games? Isn't this supposed to be a standalone game? Then suddenly they connect one and two into three and all that kind of shit. And I was surprised how, how fucking awesome they did it because they didn't kind of overstep. And they kind of kept the mystery about it. And they kept you guessing throughout the whole game and you didn't quite exactly see what the connection was. And the plot twists they involved with all that was brilliant. I gotta say, this is the best game I've played in probably ten years, you know. I love Tales of Arise and all that shit, but this game here, right here, that's the real fucking deal, man. This is a top list game. Awesome. Fucking, the only thing I want to complain about in comparison to the other Xenoblade games is I think the music was a little, like, 30% step down, you know, in terms of what I like to hear. But I still thought it was awesome tracks, man. Fucking boss battle track is epic as fuck. Some of the fields later in the game were majestic. And Yasunori Mitsuda, who composed Chrono Trigger, Sino Saga, and all that shit, glorious past. He composed half of the soundtrack, and a lot of the great shit I can hear it's his style, you know. And I think he uh, kind of lived up to his past with this one in some ways. But I still think his work in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 was slightly better, more memorable. But this, I, I can't really complain a lot, you know, because there are some majestic main melodies, fantastic boss battle track. Some of the story cutscenes accompanied with the music was just perfection, you know? So, if you haven't played this, go play it the fuck now. Hopefully, they won't make a Xenoblade Chronicles 4 because I want it to end on 3 here. Just leave it here. Make a new IP. Do something completely fucking new. Don't overstep the series. Stop. It's perfect right now. Bang, don't overstep, man. Monolith Soft, come on, listen to me. I know, I know what I'm talking about. about. You should know exactly what I'm saying. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it too, my friends. So I hope you enjoyed it. Rock the fuck out, motherfuckers. Enjoy yourselves. Keep uh, fucking playing awesome games and enjoy music, bros. Pepsi Power. Adios, fuckers. <laughs>